Hello. Before I go to bed, I want to say good night and how you do. How's your night? I'm reviewing 2005 Halle Berry's classic Catwoman movie. The best movie she's ever done since the first Flintstone movie. I'm going to say that on the record. I think that this is my favorite movie she's ever done. That's her own solo movie. Where she's... Where it was on her own movie. Because this movie does a great job in making a fool of herself. And it's hilarious. <laughs> With the cat puns and everything. The cat jokes are g genius. Well written. With catnip and there was, uh, was like was making catnip a joke and a plot device and making it into a joke. It's very funny. I love the Catwoman movie with Halle Berry. I give it a 10 out of 10. See this movie. And I love the costume design for Halle Berry's Catwoman and her prototype costume of her Catwoman movie before we get her final costume. Her full cost, real life Catwoman costume as the final costume in this movie. And I like how it's, 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 it's based around absurd premise and changes pretty much everything 100% and doesn't take place in Gotham City at all. And Batman's not even part of the w w Bruce Wayne's not even a part of the plot, and not even the love interested of Catwoman. No, instead, it's a cop. Why, why is it not Batman or Bruce Wayne? Or Batman as Bruce Wayne? Before he becomes Batman? Or maybe during his, in the middle of his transferring of crime, early days crime fighter? I don't know. That would have made more sense. That's what you would have expected to do. But they don't. They do. See, this is, this is the amazing thing by destroying all audience expectations and delivering you the heart of stupidity and inconsistent writing. That would f make the foundation... Uh, f fuck. <sighs> This is good. That would, that this would basically, when you think about it, this kind of foreshadows and makes the foundation of lazy writing that goes on to Hollywood today with, with many, many, like many, many comic book movies that got much more dumb than this. And lazy, but one as entertaining. You know? They didn't have the soul that Catwoman has. With the cat puns. And the meowing cat puns. That's why I love Catwoman movie. From Halle Berry's Catwoman movie from DC Universe. And even though they changed first and last name of Selena Kyle. Completely. And it's not even Selena Kyle. It's called Patience. Or Patience something. I forget Forget it was called a uh, gangway. Uh, her that's her name. They not just change her from a white girl, of girl to a black girl who's is uh, they just decide to just change everything. Wow. That's like why still call this movie Catwoman then? You got me. If they change pretty much everything 100% to a T from the source material, from DC Comic Law, everything we know about Catwoman based off of every design she's ever had in the comics and relationships she's ever had in the comics from history that we know of that went to, that went, that got recognized by a lot of audience and comic book fans and, uh, they just didn't even bother trying. You know, I gotta appreciate that, that they didn't bother to try to even try to represent the comics. I give that balls to the wall effort of being lazy. Or daring. I don't know. Because it worked when Brian Singer did the same amount of lazy effort with the X-Men. But it didn't really pay off for Halle Berry's take on Catwoman now, did it? When that would have the same allow loosely based took inspiration from the source material that this based off of.
from DC Comics. Sort of like similar how parallel how the X Men movies took very loose inspiration from the comic books because they were embarrassed by the comics. Something's telling me that this movie was probably embarrassed by the comics too, so they want to change everything about what we know about Catwoman from the comics, even the design, maybe. <laughs> To make it more skin revealing design or any other design that you could have gone from the comics, you just make a more skin revealing design. I'm not complaining about that at all. I think it's funny. <laughs> this movie. I give it a 10 out of 10, Catwoman. Good night. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the bell and hitting the subscribe button. Second. And hit the thumbs up if you like my video. Goodbye.